always had a love for technology, even like when I was like really, really small. Before I came to Shaw, I didn't have much understanding of computer science. It took me three hours to run the program, Hello World. Shaw University has a small student body. Many of our students come from either from low income or economically disadvantaged homes. The problem from what I've been able to determine is preparation. Students come in and they pick this major because they know computers. I mean, they know about computers, but they don't know the process. At this moment in time, we have to make the decision to desire to be great. We have to understand our legacy and its greatness and not be afraid to connect it to our future. Does anyone remember what VIM, V-I, VIM is? It's a text editor. In the midst of a pandemic, the George Floyd murder happened. And that was a wake up call, and I think a call to action for a lot of people. I think in this country, people were becoming more aware, individuals, organizations, businesses, that there was an issue with equity. Shaw University has the opportunity to be a, a tremendous leader in efforts of diversity for open source pipelines. One of the things that is really appealing about open source is that it's open, right? There's supposed to be a lot of access. Anybody should be able to jump in and join. Um, and right now we just know that that's historically been more challenging for certain groups than for others. And so I think not just for Red Hat and for this particular partnership, but more broadly creating more ways for more people to become part of the tech industry and the different solutions that we're creating is critical. We really can't move very far forward without that. It's very important to hire people that look like you in the roles that you want to be in because it gives you that hope that you could get to that level. It gives you that, that power behind you. It's like you looking at yourself in the mirror, like, I can do this. For me, when I see women thriving, it makes me want to thrive. It makes me want to go after my dreams. I take my mom as a role model, actually. I want to be like her. I want to be strong and I want to be independent and I want to just go after all my dreams and I, I'm sure I can reach them if I'm just brave enough. There's a lot of spaces to go within just programming. So I kind of had to put a little more focus and like my internship at Red Hat has really helped me figure out where exactly I really want to go in this whole giant field. Our commitment is to prepare students for a career when they leave here. So this partnership with Red Hat is amazing in that it is, it is helping us to do that. Not just what we do in the classroom is impacting the students now, but they get a chance to see that real world experience. There's a great potential there to affect the community and to empower the community. It's blessing to finally be in the area that I want to be in and have someone that like gives me a chance. Um, it gives me the opportunity to keep dreaming. That's what I used to tell my friends all the time. Keep yourself resourceful so you can keep dreaming. You lose your dreams when you lose your resources, when you've lost your way. But if you can keep yourself resourceful, you can keep dreaming. So that's how it's changed my life. And that's how it's gonna hopefully keep changing my future. I hope that two or three years from now, we have picked a few different schools to have strategic partnerships with, that we're investing in their students, in their infrastructure, that we're providing them you know, with training, with, with, with coaching, with guidance, with ways to enhance their curriculum to prepare them to be successful future Red Hat interns and associates, or wherever they choose to go. The investment that we're making in them transcends Red Hat, really. And, and that is also something powerful and such a part of, of who we are, I think, as an organization.